It is evident from a variety of documents we managed to obtain. Never before published, many of the documents are written by Mohammed Yunus. We can reveal that Yunus discreetly transferred more than $100 million from Grameen Bank to the new company Grameen Kalyan. The transfer took place in December 1996. Around $100 million, of which most came from Norway and other international donors such as Sweden, Germany and Canada, were returned after the transfer to Grameen Bank as a loan. In that way, the Poor People's Bank avoided paying tax. However, in February 1998, the Norwegian Embassy in Bangladesh rings the alarm bell. By chance, an employee discovered that more than $100 million had been transferred. The embassy had not even heard of the new company, Grameen Kalyan. The Norwegian State Aid Corporation, NORAD, reacts harshly that the funds are missing from the Grameen Bank in order to avoid future taxation, as Mohammed Yunus writes. With gradual higher interest rate charged, more and more money will have to be paid out as taxes in future. Both the aid agency NORAD and the Norwegian embassy in Dakar demanded that Yunus paid back all the money to Grameen Bank. However, and in spite of massive pressure from the Norwegian authorities, only around 30 of the $100 million was returned. In a personal letter to the then director of NORAD, Mohammed Yunus warns about the consequences should the matter go public. Dear Tova, I need your help. If the people within an outside government who are not supportive of Grameen get hold of this letter, we'll face real problems in Bangladesh. And NORAD kept their mouths shut. They stamped all the documents confidential. The case should be resolved as soon as possible so that it would not be known. We have repeatedly tried to get a comment from those responsible for NORAD's leadership in 1998. But just two hours before a scheduled interview, it's been cancelled. We also tried to get interviews with the present leadership of NORAD. But nobody wanted to take part in this documentary. After the documents were released, the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs published a report concluding that the donor money from Norway in no way was used for unintended purposes. As said, only less than a third of the $100 million were transferred back to Grameen Bank. What happened to the remaining donor money? One can only guess. The official report from Norway does not give any substantial answer. For decades, Microcredit has been seen as an effective tool to lift poor people out of poverty. And the Western world has donated enormous amounts of money for the cause. For months, we have tried to get an interview with Mohammed Yunus in order to get some answers to the many critical points raised in this program. We finally tracked Mohammed Yunus to a business fair in Valencia in Spain, where he is receiving yet another award. I've sent him the question six weeks ago, and I've kept on doing this week after week after week. Send also it. to Lamia. Send, Lam send it to me, and I will take care. We are arranged. We are arranged. And then we, we send it on the right spot. Just he doesn't want to do it today. Let's uh, see a uh, good time. When, when, I, when will I get that? We have repeatedly forwarded our questions and put forward the criticisms of Grameen Bank. But neither Grameen Bank nor Mohammed Yunus wants to participate in this program.